Hi, I'm Pop Seagull, and welcome to my video about the basic applications of cutting palm in my personal martial art of Bagua Kung Chao Sila. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Before I forget, please like and subscribe so I can bring you more videos and more inside information to the, to the practice and expression of my art. I see my assistant here, my son Trevor. Um, he's going to help uh, with showing that. If you've seen my previous video of the fundamentals of cutting palm, you should have learned how to properly make that technique and express that energy in cutting palm. And here I'm going to show you how to use it against someone who's attacking you or intends upon attacking you because if you do it right, they won't be able to finish. Um, one of the first things you see, if they're just running right up to you and going to throw a punch, you just move forward um, right away as at the end of section one, that twin palm, twin cutting palm expression, this, and you can see I'm not finishing by only because if I do, it's going to hurt him severely uh, because it's going to move all my weight and mass into that thing into the bottom of his skull and the top of his spine. As the punch comes forward, I simply, I don't concern myself. It looks like he's going to hit me. You got to remember, I'm moving inside that swinging punch loop, as most untrained people will do, and expressing this movement as I'm moving my weight forward. And you see my foot here, which I can use if I hit here and he doesn't fall down, I simply sapu and slam him down. Or, if he's running forward to punch me, and I, and I take him forward, just step through and slam his head on the concrete behind him. That is a strike into the top of his spine, base of his skull, underneath, and then just stepping forward and slamming that head on the ground. Also, believe it or not, and you have to feel it to experience it, if he does punch, I just move outside and move cutting palm into the area immediately between his bicep and tricep along that bone and there's a nerve there which he felt and I tried not to express but yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he felt it. Okay we had a little noise and I had to relocate temporarily uh, so we can finish this video. Basic applications of cutting palm in Bagua Kung Chao Sila. Another one and one of my favorite techniques uh, is to headbutt someone. However, this is an ideal counter to the headbutt. If you're standing there talking and they wanted to, somebody wants to deliver an unexpected headbutt, like he's going to do, simply bring this up and bring it out. You okay? <laughs> you could feel, I could feel his jaw click. Uh, and I was trying to be as gentle as possible. Uh, what I did do was withhold the stepping. Um, and I wanted to just see you spontaneously as lightly as possible while still following through as much as I can without causing any injury. Somebody moves, it's typically a surprise attack on the headbutt and it comes, but when you see somebody come at you completely and thoroughly aggressively, this twin double cutting palm uh, movement will almost always work if you know how to target it. You don't even have to think about it. I use another technique, however, depending upon your preference, stature, ability, and just general personality, this is a great technique to use. When somebody comes like this and they're just coming, you just immediately go forward and you see here, I'm going to step behind him and he cannot help. I have to avoid trying to throw him because this technique wants to throw you when you move your center and your skeleton through somebody directly behind them without position. Um, often with this technique, again, we attack with our whole body. What you're going to end up doing is step immediately upon their ankle and nail their foot to the ground while you execute this technique. Unless you're doing it so they'll get away from you and you want to give them the opportunity to leave as you counter whatever aggressive movement they're doing. Targets for this are fairly obvious when you see it is side of the head, temple, ear area, neck, uh, throat area. Also, a movement as I've shown earlier, if someone's moving forward and I move out of the way, counter between the bicep and tricep along the arm. Um, and again, basic application from the pinky to the elbow. So while it may appear to be a karate type chop, it is not. Uh, this is a loose cable, steel cable like motion. And what we're going to do is I could hit him with my forearm 
I could also, the floating ribs or a prime target. If somebody's coming forward and I want to headbutt and he's moving a punch, I headbutt and then enter here into the floating ribs as I'm stepping forward. Um, also a good technique. He steps forward and I move out of the way and I cut him palm into the side of his thigh or the side of his knee. I prefer the femoral artery on the, on the thigh and when you do it right, when you step, again, you throw him. Uh, and there's nothing you can do about it. There are many others. Uh, do not underestimate this technique. It's a very powerful technique. Please check out my fundamentals to learn how to property, properly issue energy and power using this technique. Um, it also works. Notice at the beginning when we're generating power, you can do it from anywhere, but there's a there's a small movement of the hips to load and move forward that's barely perceptible or imperceptible once you master the technique. However, that technique also works, say if he were moving the punch, it looks like grasping palm, and it and it is one of the things, but it moves into cutting and straight forward and he's, he's down. Uh, and you see me stretching it out, making it slow to not cause injury, but I'm moving my weight into his body and pinning him to the ground, and then I step forward, manipulate his weight, and throw him down. And I know it looks like he's giving it up, but no, it's uh, you have to uh, practice, learn the technique, and we'll get into how you can manipulate somebody else's body while they're trying to resist, but you have to capture their center so it's too late for them to lose. They're off balance, and they're trying to catch their balance, and you're just continually moving that balance straight into the ground. I'm doing it slow and easy. Uh, when it's explosive, it's just straight to the ground and crushing those joints and bones from the opponent. Um, but again, practice your fundamentals and you can see, oh, another technique, I don't know if I mentioned armpit because it moves his structure and you hit those glands and those muscles and nerve cluster underneath. Excellent technique. And of course, the jaw, not just a mastoid process, just not just the side of the neck under the ear um, creates a real problem for that cutting technique. And if you wish and you know how to manipulate your weight into your forearm, you see a punch coming and you're moving forward and I'm clearing it this way while I move again with the opposite side and I hit and I'm bringing it down. So thank you for joining me for basic applications of cutting palm and Bagua Kung Tao Silat and I hope to see you again soon.